Hey, it's Joe Glines from Automator. And uh, as you know, we've been covering a lot of ChatGPT tools and services. And there's this one I've been using and paying for. It's been really helpful both to, you know, as a non-YouTuber, just as someone watching videos, but also as a YouTuber, it's really helping grow my channel and doing amazing things. At least I think it is. So uh, I wanted to share it with you and show you just real quickly how it works. It's, it's pretty cool. So here I'm on, let's say I'm watching, oh, good Lord, this is a, an hour long video. Do I really want to watch the whole thing? Because there's not good notes right? It doesn't have a nice summary, you know, whatever. So I can come up here and click summarize. Now I have 11 left um, in my current plan. I'm going to click summarize. Now this is pretty cool. It's an hour long video. It's going to go pull my SRT files, the subtitles, and do some summarization of it. So I'm going to click this and here it comes back. I think they did an amazing job of making it fun, putting in emojis, this and that. They also make it where when you copy it, it'll have it as, you know, in your clipboard, both as like rich text um, and HTML format, if I remember correctly. But um, here it's going to come up. It's usually pretty quick. Of course, it's relying on ChatGPT, so that's a little limit there. But um, so it has an overall summary, and then it has timestamps. So this is really cool. It's nice to look at. So if I'm watching this video, I could you know look at this. I could copy. I could search. I could jump to it. I could click here, and it'll jump right to that point in the video. Right. So as a consumer of watching long videos, this is really awesome. Now. Let's bring it over, though, if I'm a YouTuber, right? What's really cool, and this is why I picked this video, because I hadn't done it yet. So I'm going to hit copy, and here I can say, do I want the timestamps? Yeah, full summary, yeah. I'm going to copy it, and then I come back in here and edit my video. And then I'm going to throw it actually here. So this is one of the things is, like, I already have a bunch of text here. Um, this was put together for a certain group of people. And when I paste it, this is one I've, I've talked to them about, I'm trying to make it where I can tell it. Hey, you know, return back the summary within a certain number of characters. And here it, it went over. So now I have to delete 2,500 characters, right? Um, this is an hour long video, right? A lot of videos aren't an hour long, so I don't often have this problem. But um, what I typically do is just come in. Uh, this is, by the way, that's where you can get it. I'll put the pretty link up in the call. Um, and what I do is I just lose some of these, especially later, right, in it. Now that, of course, will hurt on some of the search but I still leave the titles with the timestamps and I just keep narrowing this down. Now, I don't think I have to get rid of all of five. It's looking pretty close, close, close. There we go, now we're good. Now I can save this. And what's really cool is when you go back to the video, so let's click it here. When I load the video, now I have these nice chapters are built in there, right? So a viewer watching my channel, they can easily jump to stuff and I don't have to manually go create those because that's a crazy time consuming process. Um, it also does a really good job. Now, here's another thing. Like actually, thankfully, apparently I spoke pretty clearly because the SRT files from YouTube properly tagged it as auto hotkey. Often, um, you know, depending on who's speaking, it may not be clear and even GUIs like that. Actually, I'm surprised that came out because it's using that and it's not, you know, auto correcting or, or trying to correct the spell check stuff. So what I'll do is sometimes I'll paste it into a site or some editor and then come back and fix it and then, you know, push that into there. So that way the summary and everything they see. But what I wanted to show you was this is the part. Now, if you are a YouTuber, right, this is where it gets really cool because let's go to my channel and let's go to analytics. And here I did it on a fair amount of videos. But you can see I'm getting 40 right now, 45% more views than usual, right? It's up a lot. That That is quite significant. Now, we're, we've been doing videos on ChatGPT and UIA, which are, are pretty popular. So it's kind of hard for me to detect how much of it is just the, the content versus the actual driving up of um, that ability of having the text in there, I think, it's kind of crazy because you think, hey, this is Google and YouTube. Google knows the SRT files. They know the text is there. They should be using that when they're when people are searching. But I have the feeling that adding it actually into my description is ranking my making my videos rank higher. And so I'm getting more views, which is just really amazing. The other really cool thing is if uh, we go to the automator. Um, and let's do this. Let's see if I scroll down. Oh, yeah. Hey, get my course. Great. Um, I'll show you one where I took someone else's video. So this one, fine tuning GPT-3 for industries, right? This is someone else's video. I used the summarized tool on it. I then also took this and I went into ChatGPT myself and wrote a summary here. Um, but then I took 
its summary, and this is where I put it into here, right? And you can recognize that this is where I have the HTML and posted it. Now, I think if I click, oh, I'm not logged in. Let me let me hold on one second. So I logged in. Now, my average stats are actually, you can see the last couple of weeks, they've been going up. And if we click here, you can see actually this one page is getting the most views right now. This last week is getting the most views. And if I click on it, we'll get a breakout of the views. Um, so it, 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 it peaked. Well, it looked like it peaked here, but we're still getting traffic to this is today. So I don't worry about that. Right. But I did like nothing for this post. Uh, and it's really cool that I took that, put it on my site, you know, the summary from summarize and put it onto my site. And so now it's, I think, indexing for the SEO stuff and driving traffic. So I think it's a really cool tool. There, there are costs involved. If um, I'll put up on the screen here, I have an image from what the pricing is. And it's, uh, I, I think it's, it's a real, real time saver. So I think it's totally worth it. Um, I dialed mine up to a higher level and I'm going to go through because I have over 1400 videos. So I'm going through and, you know, doing this on a bunch of them. And, uh, and then our AHK hero groups and stuff. It's great because now, because these are hour long sessions, we have three of them each week. And um, a lot of heroes can't attend every session. And these are unlisted on YouTube, right? So they're on YouTube, but they're unlisted. So unless you're a hero member, you can't watch them. Well, hero members that don't see them go, man, I wish I had attended it. But now I have to watch the hour long session in order to figure out what was talked about because I don't have time to write all these notes and stuff. Well, I click a button, I get a nice summary of what was covered in that video. I post it in there. And now the heroes can search and find if there's something that was interesting in that topic to, to cover, right? So like this, if you enjoyed this, I think it's a pretty cool tool. I'll put the URL up here that you can go check it out. It's I think it's very reasonably priced for what I'm getting for it. It seems to be having a, a big effect on my traffic. And I'll let you know, I'll come back in a while too and let you know if I if it keeps growing like it has been. Again, if you learn something new, please like the video, it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not a current subscriber. Cheers, have a great